So, we all know that monetized videos on YouTube have a higher chance of getting seen. Because, well, they're being monetized. YouTube makes money off them. They want to show people videos that are monetized. But we also know, at least the people that will see this, at least I'm very sure of, I'm pretty sure of that, all know that getting monetized is pretty hard nowadays. And people who have been on my channel for a while know that I don't need views to enjoy this. This is just, it's my hobby. I don't need to get 100 views for a video to be successful. If I enjoyed making my video, that video is successful. But I do enjoy getting the highest chances of being seen. I mean, why would I basically hurt my views if I can not do that? Because getting views is nice. Getting comments is really nice, as long as they're not assholes, but getting comments is really nice. So what I should really do and I did this last year as well, is monetize my videos. Here's the problem though, I can't monetize my videos. You know what stands out to me in that sentence? I can't monetize my videos. If you have been making videos for a while, you know that YouTube has this content ID claim thingy. And the most common thing you'll come across is a copyright claim. Not a copyright strike, that's the thing people have to do manually if they just want to make your videos disappear. That's mainly what it's used for, I mean, I guess it's also used if somebody uploads an entire thing that somebody owns. I mean, if you upload an entire movie, then you'll get a copyright strike. But generally a copyright strike is just, hey, some shitty dev wants to not have you show that his game is shitty. So they copyright strike you. But no, I'm talking here about a copyright claim, which is just the automated system. If you use music that you are not allowed to use, you'll get a copyright claim. Somebody will basically claim the monetization of your video and then it's up to them to say that either they want to claim the monetization or not have you monetize. And if you have multiple that claim it at the same time, nobody gets any money and there will be no ads on your video. So somebody who claims it, yeah nobody who claims it can then get your stuff. But let's go to that first thing again. They get basically all the options over your monetization and then they can say if they want to stop you from running ads or if they want to run ads themselves. So that's something I'm going to try now. I'm going to see if I can monetize my videos. If I can get ads to run on my videos by deliberately getting a copyright claim. Now let me know if this gets really annoying, because if it does, well, that's annoying and, well, if it's annoying then I'll stop it. But if it's not very annoying, but it means that suddenly there are people to talk to in the comments, that would be nice. So yeah, I'm going to run a little experiment for a little while. I'm going to make some videos, don't know what about yet. But I'll either start or end with some copyright music. I'm thinking Octavia by Evening Star because it's a really nice song, just you need to listen to it. Because I've seen that he or she, I don't know, then claims the video and runs ads on it. Meaning that I can get the benefit of running ads so YouTube's algorithm won't say Hey, fuck you. Of course, I can't do the thing that I did last year with this to say, hey, I want to run ads, but only at the very end of the video. But I can just run ads and have YouTube's algorithm not say, well, this gives us nothing, so 
So fuck it. So yeah, that's a little experiment yeah, that I'm going to run. And maybe something that some of the viewers of this video can also try. Do you want more views? Well, you should monetize yourself. But you can't because you're not fucking huge. Well, simply get a copyright claim. This should be fun. I wonder if YouTube's going to take this down because... I mean, this is promoting people to get a copyright claim. Then again, Jim Sterling also did this with his copyright deadlock. And yeah, this also means that, hey, you basically have a copyright deadlock primed. So, if some... Mainly for me, if some game decides that, hey, this music, which is some stupid background music that no one cares about, is copyright claimed, well, congratulations, nobody gets the money. Fuck you, you're not claiming my video because of some bloody background music nobody cares about. No, you have no right on this video. This video has nothing to do with your stupid piece of music that doesn't matter. Can you tell that I'm ever so slightly salty about copyright claims that Nissan says background music made? But yeah, Jim Sterling basically promoted people to make more copyright claims. And he is much bigger, so... And I'm not meaning because he weighs a bit more. I have no idea how much he weighs. I mean, he probably said it at some point at the bot position, but well in stupid measurements. But no, he is a way bigger YouTuber, and if he can get away with it, then some stupid, unimportant YouTuber like myself should probably get unnoticed. Then again, he is a big YouTuber. Removing him would get some people to be very annoyed. Remove me and who's going to care? Me and that's about it. So yeah, I wonder if this video will be up. But yeah, a little experiment that I'm going to run. Am I going to get more views if I intentionally get a copyright claim? So I guess that I'll see you in a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, with the results. See you then. This is Nix, saying farewell. That outro was confused. <laughs>